Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth tutorial of the Genomics to Proteins or G2P portal, which is a discovery tool to link genetic screening outputs to protein sequence and structure. Before we dive in, we previously published three other tutorials demonstrating different capabilities of the portal, which are available via this YouTube playlist. The link to the playlist will be available in the video caption. Please check them out if you find this portal useful and if you haven't already done so. In the past months, we have received a good amount of questions regarding whether it is possible to analyze mutations and features of non-human proteins, for example, viral proteins, using the portal. And this use case will exactly be the focus of our today's tutorial, where I will analyze the structure of Hendra virus glycoprotein bound to the human receptor ephrine B2. Okay, so let's go in and click on the interactive mapping module of the portal. It is known that two Henipa virus, Hendra and Nipah, are conserved and they both bind to ephrine B2. Using the G2P portal, here we will explore the conservation of these two viral proteins on Hendra glycoprotein structure to check whether the binding interface between the glycoprotein and the receptor is conserved across both Henipa viruses. The outcome of this will hint to the possibility of designing a common agent to disrupt the attachment of Hendra or Nipa glycoprotein to human receptor. So for this tutorial, we will use uh, the start with your own protein structure capability because we will analyze a non-human protein structure. Note that when users start with a gene or protein identifier capability, then the portal now accepts only the human gene or protein identifier. So we will click on this button and we will need to upload uh, the structure by browsing it. So for that, we will first go to the PDB database and we'll download our structure. So I will download the first biological assembly and we'll upload the structure onto the portal. Now the structure is loaded here, uh, but because this is a multi-protein complex, the portal will prompt to input the chain identifier that corresponds to the protein that you want to analyze. And I know here in this protein-protein complex, chain A corresponds to the viral protein, so I will input chain A and we'll hit load. Then the portal will perform the sequence to structure mapping for you, considering the gaps um, within the sequence that is not covered in onto the structure. And then the structure will also show up as, as the residues colored according to the residue type. And if you want to view your structure using a single color, then hit onto the row header, and you can also change uh, the color from, from the color selection options. Now, the purpose um, of this tutorial is to map the conservation between Hendra and Nipah virus um, onto this structure of this Hendra glycoprotein. So prior to this tutorial, I generated the sequence alignment using the program muscle, and I also generated a residue-wise annotation of conservation, which looks like this, where each residue is annotated as conserved, not conserved, or similar, or weakly similar. So I will copy these annotations from the Excel file, and then I'll go to the portal and we'll navigate to this feature mapping capability. And I will just paste the annotations that I just copied. And then I need to hit load. And now uh, you can see that the annotations have been mapped onto both sequence and structure. Now to view it onto the structure, hit on the row header. Uh, and from here, you can also change the color that you want to view your, your different conservation residues of different conservation levels. But instead, what I will do is uh, I will go ahead and download the annotated structure to investigate it locally using PyMol. 
So the file, the annotated file has been saved um, in this name, uh, G2P interactive mapping, and then the structure identifier. And I will open it using uh, PyMob. So here is the uh, annotated uh, structure and the annotations that I mapped using the portal has been saved here as different selections. Um, now for visualization purpose, I will do some cleanups. Like I will hide all the waters from the structure I will display the background as white and then would display the sequence as chain identifiers so that I can easily remove these ligand-like molecules and now my structure looks cleaner and now let's map the annotations um, as different colors. So I'll color the fully conserved residues in red, similar residues um, in orange, quickly similar residues in yellow, and not conserved residues as um, gray. And now because I want to explore the protein-protein interface, I would like to view the glycoprotein, surfa uh, glycoprotein as, as, as surface. And for that, I will create a copy of the object and then we'll view this new copied object as surface. So now uh, my glycoprotein is viewed as surface and we can zoom in to the binding interface. And it's now clearly visible that how um, in this nice big groove, um, this specific loop of the human receptor protein comes in and, and then the viral protein attaches itself to the uh, receptor. And the important information here is how conserved um, this groove on the glycoprotein looks like. So most of the residues are color red, which indicates that this binding interface for both Hendra and Nipah viruses. So both for both Nipah viruses are conserved um, and they may use a similar mechanism to attach it, to attach themselves onto the human receptor. So uh, it, this gives us a hint that there is, if there is a possibility of designing a common agent uh, to disrupt the attachment of Hendra or Nipah glycoprotein to human receptor. Uh, so that's all about uh, today's tutorial. I hope uh, you like it. And if you do, then don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified of the future tutorials. Take care and thank you.